What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Chance Bishop Show here for episode 4 of our Madden 25 New England Patriots franchise mode here on the channel. Taking on the New York Jets here in week number whatever week. I think it's week number 4. Uh, but, as you see guys, Drake May has been officially named the starter. That was a move that was made at the end of last episode after Jacoby Brissett was benched after another poor performance in week number two. Uh, so I guess it's week three, technically. Uh, but here we go, week four, taking on the New York Jets. They look at their team right now. Uh, they are holding it together fairly nicely here. Defensively, they're all right. Hassan Reddick is actually playing here. He's not a suspended or off in Japan doing whatever Hassan Reddick has been doing the last, I don't know how many weeks in preseason. Uh, he and the Jets have figured things out. Uh, you got Sauce Gardner, DJ Reed, Michael Carter, Brandon Eccles, and Stiggers. Uh, you got Tony Adams, Chuck Clark there. Let's look at the kicker. We got Greg the Leg Zerline, and then Thomas Morstead. All right, there you go, big fellas. Taylor the Andrews, they got Leaky Fotu. All right, that's our... Back up D tackle right there. Uh, they got a depth wide receiver, uh, Malik Taylor, depth quarterback, and then a depth tight end there. Take a look here at the Patriots. We have a couple more weeks here before we uh, get a bunch of key depth players back. Uh, even nine depth players, a bunch of key starters back. You got to think Barmore's out for another two weeks, uh, Cole Strange's out for another couple weeks. So hopefully, we can get those guys back sooner rather than later uh, but here we go we got may taking on rogers the first year quarterback uh, in his first endeavor against the new york jets taking on aaron Rodgers, the future first round hall of famer uh, while he played what three snaps last season before his acl snapped now he's on a revenge tour here in the uh, AFC East. It is raining here at MetLife as the Jets take the field. Uh, so hopefully Drake May and the New England Patriots fare a little better than they did last week, uh, suffering their second consecutive loss. Uh, but going against the Jets, historically, the Jets have not have played little brother to New England here, but that, of course, was with Tom Brady under helm and a little bit under the Mac Jones era, but... Hopefully things can sort themselves out here as we have Drake May who last week 53 yards passing 5 for 8 in his NFL debut. That's it. No touchdowns. No picks for the young fella. Now here we go. We have a Drake May underneath throw there and that's going to be Hunter Renfro who is going to be a key piece to uh, Drake May figuring things out here in the NFL. I mean Drake May did inherit a nice security blanket. Uh, being Hunter Henry and Hunter Renfro. Uh, so the two Hunters are going to definitely help out Drake as he molds to the NFL offense. Uh, but here we go, down second and three. Hand off to Gibson, who fumbles it. Big hit, he coughs up that ball. Recovered by New York down in the red zone. And out comes Aaron Rodgers and the New York Jets. There you go, the 83 overall Aaron Rodgers. He's got 79 speed, and he has ideal decision-making. All right, let's get things rocking and rolling here. Aaron dropping back. Aaron throwing outside, and that's going to be a three and out there for Aaron Rodgers and the New York Jets. So following the punt, here we go. Drake May. Drake May gets laid out there by Quentin Williams. That's one thing that definitely needs to be updated here in New England is that offensive line. All right, third and three now here for the Jets. That's going to be batted away. So a battle of mediocrity right here through the first quarter. As oh, it's a bunch of three and a half, bunch of punts. 0-0 zero, zero game here, about five and a half left now in the second. Underneath, that's Hunter Henry. The two Hunters are getting things done here as we move that one onto the Jets' 45. Uh, the Jets are kind of going after each other on that one. First and ten now here. May clean pocket. May taken down from behind. No separation could get open. And that's going to be a sack, making a second seven. Third and nine now here following that sack. 
That's going to be Henry, who's down a yard shy of the first down marker. And does New England go for it? They're going for it. Hand off to Gibson, and Gibson finds a hole, and Antonio Gibson makes his way down to the Jets' 28-yard line. Now here we go. Dropping back is May. May sacked. He had Henry open underneath, but the Jets' defense got there too quickly. Now, third and 13 here. Five seconds left on the play clock. Play does get off. And May hit us. He's throwing. That one gets nowhere. That's going to be setting up probably a long field goal opportunity. Long field goal underway. The kick is up, and that kick will be good. Patriots take a 3 nothing lead. Rodgers and the Jets making their way down the field here. A little dink and dunk on the sideline there for Rodgers. Now second and five Jets on the Patriots side of the field here over the middle. And apparently no one wants to make any tackles right now. They're down inside the red zone there at the 17-yard line. With four seconds left, that's going to set up the field goal. And the game is tied going into halftime. So second half of the game. How are we going to respond here? Well, hopefully we respond just in general. Because this team has a lot of... Dead time has a lot of just kind of stall out and nothing really happens time. Uh, but hand off here. Kicks to the outside. That's about a 14, 15 yard pickup right there for Hall. He's got two carries for 23 yards on the day. And that's something I've kind of realized in Madden 25 years. That no one really runs the ball. It's a very pass heavy offense at least. I mean because it's Aaron Rodgers a pass heavy offense. But I feel like I haven't done much run stopping this season just in general so far uh but rogers making some plays at the line of scrimmage he drops back no pressure that's gonna be wide open into the end zone there oh boy that's a big boy touchdown right there for the jets i mean he just shrugs off the defender mike williams surprised he didn't break a kneecap or something as he went into the touchdown all right drake may now has to respond here I mean, he had someone downfield. It seems like he had a couple people downfield. But he's going to get sacked right there by Johnson, it looks like. And I definitely think having Hassan Reddick on this Jets team is definitely helping them out a lot more uh, than it should be. But it is. Another big uh, big pressure right there. Hit as he's throwing 4th and 18. A 3 and out right there for the New England. Now, Jets can seal this one here. Two minutes left in the third quarter. Rodgers, just pocket, just no pressure at all. Rodgers steps up, he takes the hit, but he gets the first down. I mean, when, when you're rushing forward and you're getting zero pressure on the quarterback, I, I think it's time just to kind of blow up the entire defensive line here. I mean, especially if you're not using the D-line and you're not getting any pressure. Like, what, what are we doing here with this D-line? I mean... I get it. We don't have Barmore right now. He's coming back in like two weeks. But I think outside of him, we need to revamp this entire defensive line. Finally getting some pressure right there. First sack of the game uh, for New England from 48 right there. Now, here we go again. May, he's got the ball. Looking for something. He fires. That one's picked off into coverage. A little screen pass right there. Just jumped. Jets up 16-3. to on the pick six. Yeah, I hate to see that. Quincy Williams with the pick six right there. 17-3 is the final score here. Robert Saleh defeats Gerard Mayo and Drake May. May, not a great first start here. Hopefully coming in the next week a little better. Uh, but 17 for 24, 198 a pick. 70% completion isn't bad for Drake May, I mean, if, especially if you don't sprinkle in the interception there. It probably looks a little better, but no touchdowns definitely hurts. Only 25 yards rushing on the day for New England. They had a fumble. 49 yards there for Hunter Renfro. 40 for Osborne. Uh, not really any for Hunter Henry or this game. We had, take a look, we had seven sacks allowed this game. Robinson, Lowe, City Sal. Tackles, seven uh, between Tavai and Duggar, two TFLs on the day, one of them being uh, Jelani Tavai, the linebacker who got our only sack, no interceptions. Uh, Joey Sly here got the only points of the game with the field goal, two punts for Bryce here, he averaged about 60 yards a punt, dude's got a leg, uh, two kick return yards here for Antonio Gibson, 
Uh, two point turn yards for Marcus Jones. So I mean, we're we're not doing anything. The only productive player of the game, Bryce Baring, uh, Baringer, he gets himself an upgrade there. He's a 72 overall punter now. I feel like he's going to stick around with us for a long time. He's a young guy. I think he's like, what, second year? Second year punter. We're just going to keep up for the entirety of this. Uh, but next episode, we're going to the San Francisco 49ers. They're only 1-2. and two. We're 0-3. Oh Hopefully, that could be Drake Mays coming out. Game we do have the Dolphins in Texas coming up after that. But next thing you know, peace out.